So this is my campsite setup. Um, trying something different with the top right next to my tent. Quite chuffed with the the result. It doesn't have a huge area under the top, but it's just myself, so it's all I need. So I'm probably going to make a fire in this area here or there. We'll see. Um, this is my tent. I've connected the side up, but I can, if it starts raining, I can just unclip that and close this off. Tent, clothes, chair, cooler box, camp kitchen, table. Still need to pack some stuff out. Uh, that's the food in the in the car there, and those are the ablutions there. And then. Um, This is my view, so I'm going to be enjoying this view for the next couple of days and we're going to go for a hike. Just look at the scenery. And I'm the only person around for miles. Not a person in sight. Got this whole place to myself. Awesome. Someone's got a snake. So the bird walked away, so I thought I'd come have a look what what it was. Um, it's basically eaten sort of the first third of it. And it's eaten it good and proper. And then while I was still filming it down at the bottom of the hill, it walked away. So I thought I'd come have a look. Not sure what sort of snake it is. That's the underside. Doesn't look too poisonous, who knows? Um, but it's quite a big snake. I mean, yeah, and it's a fresh, fresh kill. Uh, somebody's watching me from the top of the hill. Maybe he's not too happy that I'm looking at his kill. Definitely doesn't want me around. Okay, buddy, I'm not going to eat your food. Just come to look at it finish it off. But I mean you did walk away before I started coming up. We've oh, made it across. Really nice to be out of the sun. Extremely hot today, it's probably in the early to mid 30s. Well, I'm back, that's the end of my hike. It was just over four hours long. Um, just go head down to the campsite and crack open a cold one. These are shallows looking down onto the river. Whew, it's really, really hot. Glad to be back. Set up, pack up my camp, pack out the camp, get ready for, but first get in there and get a cold one. This is my view, sitting and enjoying a nice cold beer. That little blackbird was way better than you, buddy. He doesn't even sit down, he just flew in, hovered under the tap, drank, and then flew off again. Tap's got a bit of a leak, a little drip. I mean, that blackbird needs to show you how to do it. Mm, the rain's starting.
Here we go. There we go. One of the baboons near my camp. At least I closed my camp kitchen. That's why I gotta watch out. See, they come in to steal stuff. Hey, boy. Hey, buddy. Just looks like they went through my rubbish, but there wasn't much, uh, much in the rubbish tin. At least I closed my camp kitchen. I'm just making a quick burger with a baboon in the camp. Well, I had a baboon in the camp uh, just now. Luckily everything was locked up and he didn't get anything. There's a thunder a thunderstorm rolling in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it passes by. Hopefully the, the storm passes by because I want to make a fire and set up my Dutch oven and do a nice stew. You see how it goes. And no burgers complete without a little bit of hot chocolate. And some spices. Cheers. Here comes the rain. This is for chopping wood, pulling our tent pegs, leveling my camp kitchen and lifting the lid of the Dutch oven, multi-purpose. So I have my fire going. Um, I'm going to do some rice uh, on, on the on the gas stove here. Just just some normal normal rice. I'll give that a rinse off. And then I've got my little poiki or Dutch oven. I uh, better not call it a poiki because the poiki police might come after me. So I'll stick to Dutch oven. Um, we're going to do a vegetarian or vegan poiki. So we've got some. A few leftover red lentils, uh, brown lentils, I've got some uh, soya chunks, I've got an onion, sweet potato, two potatoes, some carrots, some beans. Uh, I've got this cooking sauce, I'm not sure, I've never used it before, I'm not sure if I'm going to throw it in. I've also got a uh, quite a nice vegetable stock, I've got blocks of stock there as well. I have uh, some smash or some brown onion soup to thicken it up. So there's no ways I'm going to be using all of this. Uh, I'll have to just decide as I go along what I'm going to be doing. 
But what we'll do first is warm up the, the Dutch oven uh, as soon as the fire gets going and then we can saute some onions in here before we throw everything else in into my poiki. Uh, and then we'll do the rice a little bit later. Well I've just fetched it, I nearly forgot one of the most important ingredients which is a red wine. Thank you very much uh, Brett for the red wine. Moi. Very good. Thank you, Brett. So, the red rind has two purposes. We'll throw a dash into our poiki and cheers. Let's get started. I don't think we're going to do all of the onion. It's quite a big onion. I do hope the poiki police are watching. Let's get this show on the road. So you'll be happy to know I've decided against the cooking sauce. We're going to go stick to the raw ingredients. Cooking sauce is nearly like cheating. So I've got the rice on, I've got the poiku cooking, but my camera's died. So I'm busy charging it, but I think it'll take quite a while to charge. I'm just recording this on my phone. It's quite a bit blustery, but it definitely seems to have cleared up with the rain. So we're just facing a little bit of wind, but it's an awesome, cool, lovely evening, especially after such a hot day. Just a quick food update. And let's check the rice. That's, that's cooked. That's cooked. Let's switch that off. Yes, I mean that's that's perfect. Perfectly cooked. And then what I've done over here, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to bring the, bring the light, um, although the light stops the glowing, I've moved the little poiki over here and I'm using some charcoal briquettes, um, see they glow when you don't shine the light on them, and then I've got some more briquettes on the go there in case, in case I need some more, um, but I can hear it bubbling away in there so I think everything's Everything's good. Okay, maybe let's just have a little peek. 
with a trusty lid lifter. Let's move this down. That smells awesome. Awesome. And no, no fake cooking sauces. Okay, you've just missed me dishing up. Um, it smells awesome. And I'm about to tuck in. I added some corn later on. Well, it's nine o'clock in the evening and it's so calm and peaceful. The storm has passed. Um, my tummy's nice and full. I've cleaned up and I've packed away the food so the baboons don't come raid me in the morning while I'm sleeping. Um, and that's me. Off to bed. Good night. Check out that view from inside my tent. Awesome. Let's get this morning started. Good morning. It's my final day. Get some coffee on the go. Coffee in a rush. Um, Morning, how are you? I'm fine, yourself. Good, thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to leave maybe just about around 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. When you come to a dustbin at a campsite and they have they have these latches and hooks hopefully you can see that I and mean, they got three latches here to open up you know that there's trouble and that trouble is baboons all packed and ready to go Gonna miss this place. It was a great weekend. Awesome. Just leaving the campsite. It was a really awesome uh, weekend. So, and it's really hot. Let me just stop there. I'm at 10:25 in the morning. Uh, it says PM, but it's supposed to be AM, and that's uh, 33 degrees Celsius. At half past 10 in the morning. So it's going to be another scorcher. There's some of the rascals. Yeah. Naughty rascals. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 